I want to take this opportunity this new year. Happy new year. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, and we shall be glad in it. What a wonderful uh, God has been to us in that he has guaranteed us an opportunity to be able to come and be part of those who celebrate the new year. It's an honor, it's a blessing from God. So let our hearts be filled with joy and gratitude because of what he has done for us. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 100, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Hallelujah. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Enter his courts with thanksgiving. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Let us become a people who celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Even as we begin this year and as we continue, he has taken care of us in 2020. He will take care of us even this year. Hallelujah. And do great things and better things for us as his people. Father, we are grateful to you as we do this first Wednesday service, oh God of the year. How grateful we are that you have been our God, our dwelling place. We are yours. We do not belong to ourselves. We are the sheep of your pasture. And because we belong to you and we, you are our shepherd, then we know we will be taken care of, oh God. Nothing shall be lacking in our lives. We shall be supplied with everything that we need for life and for godliness. So we will not worry about tomorrow. We will not worry about next month. We will not worry, oh God, about a school fees. We will not worry, oh God, about anything. But by prayer and supplication, we shall make our request known to you. And thank you for the peace that you guarantee and you give to your people. How we bless you, how we exalt you, how we magnify your holy name. For there is none like you. Bless us, Lord, as we continue with this service. Let your name be praised and glorified. Thank you, O oh God. We honor you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. So welcome, welcome to our Wednesday service. Let us put on a smile, even from wherever we are, from wherever we are watching. Let us put on a smile and let us celebrate the kindness and the goodness of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, na kuinuliyama choyangu. Kui nuli aju na kui nuli ama choyangu na kui nuli aju na kui nuli a kui nuli ama choyangu na kui nuli aju. Choyanguna, 
Nitasami milima Musada wangu Utatuka wapi Musada wangu Ukatika buwana Aliezifanya Bingu na inchi Otu nasema na kuinulia Na kuinulia ma Choyangu na kuinulia ju Mumbati wa bingu na inchi Na kuinulia ma Choyangu na kuinulia ju Ona kuinulia na kuinulia ma Choyangu na kuinulia ju Kama musali vyo inua Nyoka wa shaba Amtasamaye Apate kupora Ondi vyo yesu Umeinuli waju Akutasamaye buwana Atapona Ona kuinuli Yesu wangu Kuinuliyama Choyangu na Kuinuliyaju Na kuinuliyana Kuinuliyama Choyangu na Kuinuliyaju Sing this song one more time Na kuinuliyana Kuinuliyama Choyangu na Kuinuliyaju Mokosi wangu na Kuinuliyama Choyangu na Kuinuliyaju Come on celebrate the Lord wherever you are Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus Hallelujah he's worthy We've come to praise you We've come to praise you We've come to praise you For the good things you have done We've come to praise you We've come to praise you We've come to praise you For the good things you have done Yahweh You are worthy of my praise Yahweh You are worthy of my praise Yahweh We've come to praise you. We've come to praise you for the good things you have done. Yahweh, you are worthy of my praise. 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 Atawale, atawale, 
yetu mwachie yesu atawale 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 tu mwachie yesu atawale come and rain lord come and rain for the glory is yours come and rain come and rain lord come and rain for the glory is yours come and rain come and rain come and rain for the glory is yours come and rain come and rain come and rain for the glory is yours come and rain come and rain lord come and rain for the glory is yours come and rain come and rain lord come and rain the glory is yours come and pray let's praise the lord let us continue to praise him he has been gracious to us he has covered us he has protected us he has done wonderful things in our lives the bible says it is good to praise the lord because praise is good and beautiful hallelujah I want us to just short, pray shortly, a short prayer. The Bible says in the book of uh, Genesis 41, 41, 51, 41, 51. Maybe you can read from 50. The Bible says, and Joseph uh, were born, and to Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came, whom Asenath, the daughter of Fort Ferah, the priest of On bore to him. Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For God has made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second he called Ephraim. For God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. I want us to, I want us to tell the Lord to help us forget you know many times we the Bible says even in the book of Isaiah 43 forget the former things just go before the Lord and tell him you want to forget maybe you have gone through tough times in the last year forget what happened Joseph said God has made me forget hallelujah and as you forget then you get ready to become fruitful you begin, begin to get ready to produce. The next son that was born to Joseph was Ephraim. He says, now I will be fruitful in the land. Praise the Lord. Just go before the Lord and say, I want to forget. Hallelujah. I want to forget last year. I want to forget, hallelujah, the hardships. I want to forget the fear. I want to forget the anxieties. I want to forget the financial constraints. Hallelujah. I want to forget the joblessness that I've experienced. You may not be uh, having a job right now, but forget. Hallelujah. And ask the Lord to bless you and to make you fruitful this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let him make you fruitful. Let him make you productive. Productive. Hallelujah. Let new things happen in your life. Wonderful things. Hallelujah. Happening in your life. Bringing newness in your life. Bringing refresh, refreshing. Hallelujah. Th things in your life this, this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are grateful to you. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. You are the Lord God who causes us to forget the former things. To forget the, the hard stuff, oh Lord our God so that we can begin to remember the wonderful things that you are doing hallelujah and become expectant of the wonderful things that you are doing in our lives this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh Lord our God hallelujah we thank you we worship you we lift up your holy name there is none like you king of glory great is thy faithfulness oh God hallelujah hallelujah from our mouth oh God and from our heart 
hearts, O God, shall praise rise, shall praise rise to you, O God. Yes, we shall bring glory. We shall bring praise to your name, mighty Father. Oh, you have done wonderful things, O God, and you are doing great wonderful things, even in our lives today, O God. We worship you and bless you, Jehovah God. May we be able to mount up as we have said, with wings like eagles, O God. As your word says, O God, may we be able to mount up with wings like eagles, O King of glory. Hallelujah. May we see marvelous things, wonderful things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a, there's a song. It's a Sunday school song. It says wonderful things in the Bible, right? Say, this is the dearest and Jesus loves me. I am so glad Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Uh, you know, it's only that we are recording this. I would have said, look to the next person <laughs> who is near you and say, Jesus loves you. Hey, Jesus loves you. And that is enough. That is enough. So I want us to prepare to give. We give to celebrate the goodness of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We give because he has taught us to give. He gave us his breath. Hallelujah. And we give cheerfully. Hallelujah. We give cheerfully. We give not in compassion and also not in comparison. <laughs> we don't give comparing ourselves to anybody. We don't give because we are under compassion by by any means, you know, we give cheerfully because God has blessed us. So prepare to give your offering. The till number is provided for you on the screen. It's 801-699 is the till number. Buy goods and, and services and you'll be able to give your offering and your tithe as well. And that won't be so uh, registered. That Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Ani penda, ani penda, bokosi Yesu. Ani penda, ani penda, ani penda, bokosi Yesu. Ani penda mi mi. Ani penda, ani penda, mokosi Yesu. Ani penda, oh, ani penda, ani penda, mokosi Yesu. Ani penda, mi mi. Yes, we are loved. What a wonderful thing it is to be loved. Amen. Amen. I want us to put our hands together from wherever we are to join and to welcome our pastor, Reverend Stephen Miano, who is going to bring uh, the word for today. Amen. Amen. Welcome, sir. We thank God for this day. We thank God for the opportunity to be able to bring you this, uh, our midweek service, the first one of the year 2021. I want to appreciate the service leader, Reverend Ezekiel. I want to appreciate the worship team. I want to appreciate the sound crew. Uh, thank you so very much for all your uh, input to ensure that we have this service uh, streamed so that uh, many people can be able to benefit even from uh, this service from Deliverance Church Langata this day. Therefore, I want to greet you. Happy New Year and praise the Lord. We thank God for this uh, great year. This is a new year. This is an year that we look forward to great things. And uh, therefore, I want, as we open this new year, uh, to purpose in our hearts that this is going to be our best year ever. I do know that uh, 
Last year, 2020, was a challenging year. It was full of challenges. And I know that as the year comes to an end and we enter into a new year, we usually look forward to a new year with a great excitement and anticipation. We make uh, resolutions for the new year. And uh, I don't know what your resolutions are, but I do know that you have resolutions. And uh, it is good to have resolutions, but uh, uh, without God leading and guiding us, then even those resolutions will uh, end into nothing. Lord, we thank you this uh, day, even as we uh, bring forth uh, this uh, service and this and your word to your people in, uh, during our midweek service, the first one of the year 2021. I pray the Lord God Almighty, you are going to help us, dear Father, to be able, dear Lidema, to communicate your word in a way that is going to be beneficial, dear Father, to your people. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I commit myself to you, asking that the Holy Spirit of God, you are going to anoint me, that you are going to give me the liberty, even as I share briefly from your word, a word of encouragement as we start this year, 2021. And I pray that this word will go to beauty your people and to help them, dear Lord, to be able to be excited, even as they engage with the year 2021, to do your purpose, dear Lord, to do your will, and Lord God, to perpetuate your values even in their spheres of influence, wherever they are this year, 2021. Receive all the glory, honor, and praise, for we do pray in Jesus' name. Amen? Now, um, as I thought about this year, 2021, I have uh, just decided to speak on uh, what I put as my title today, Your Best Year Ever. Your Best Year Ever. You know, as we say, and as I said earlier, is that millions of people uh, commit to New Year's resolutions each year. And, but sadly, uh, these uh, resolutions, uh, we do not really, they do not really follow through, and they, they quickly fade. By the month of February, the month of no, uh, uh, March, you have forgotten everything. And usually the goal is generally good. Some people maybe are thinking about how they want to lose weight. Some are thinking about how they want to uh, add weight. Others make resolutions that this, uh, the new year I'm going to attend church uh, all Sundays. Others make resolutions that the new year I'm not going to lie. Others make resolutions that the new year I'm going to love my wife. I'm going to take care of my family. They make many resolutions and it's good to make resolutions. But I want to say this, that the best way to start a new year is to, start, is to turn to God and to the Bible so that you can be able to start the new year on a higher note and end the new year and end the year also at a higher note because you have started with God and you end with God. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, a memory verse, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. As we start the year 2021, wherever you are, as you follow, as you listen, and as you start this year, oh, let us focus on the plan of God, the plan that the Lord has for us for the year 2021. Because in the year 2021, the Lord has a good plan for you. The Lord has a good plan for me. And the plan that the Lord has for us is to prosper us, and it is not to harm us, but it is to give us a hope and a future. So 2021, we have a hope. 2021, we have a future. 2021, the Lord has promised that the plans that he has for us is not a plan to harm us, it is a plan to give us a hope and a future. You see, the realization that God has a plan for each and every one of us can help us to, call it, to, call it the, to go through the new year uh, with enthusiasm and also with the confidence. So therefore, we, I want to encourage you this year, 2021, that you focus on his plan and you focus on his, purpose, and on his purposes so that you can have a successful year. And when I was thinking about this, I do realize that whereas God has a good plan for us for this year, 2021, and moving forward, it is not automatic that you're going to have a good year or you're going to have a successful year because God has 
good plans for you. Therefore, this is what I want to give you as my proposals as to how you are going to have a great year and a successful year in 2021, even as you follow the plan of God. So I propose to you the following attitudes as you begin year 2021, and I guarantee you that if you adapt these attitudes, you are going to have a great year in Jesus' mighty holy name. Attitude number one. Forget the past. Forget the past. When uh, Reverend Ezekiel was leading in prayers, he led about Joseph. And when he got these sons, and then he said, this now has become to me a new thing. I'm forgetting the pains. And therefore, I want to encourage you this year, 2021, as you begin this year, please, my friend, wherever you are, forget the past. Forget the past. Don't let the events and the happenings of 2020 hold you back in 2021. I know in 2020 you made decisions that you suffered. You made the wrong decisions. You made wrong financial decisions. And those financial decisions landed you into trouble. You made fam long family decisions. You goofed in some areas. You made long choices in 2020. You made things that, uh, that, uh, that, you made decisions that hurt you, that led you to, uh, to, 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 uh, to, to great uh, harm. But 2020 is gone. My encouragement to you is that 2020 is gone. And do not build 2021 based on 2020. Amen? This is what the Bible says. I like this, Isaiah 43, verse 18. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the waste, Lord. So God is telling you this year as you start 2021, forget the former things. Forget 2020 failures. Forget 2020 decisions that went wrong. Forget those pains of 2020 and focus on what the Lord is doing in 2021. Because the Lord is about to do great things in 2021. Be where God wants you to be in 2021. Walk in the plan of God. And 2021 is going to be a blessed year in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know something? The devil likes reminding us of our past. The devil likes reminding us of our past. Do you know why? Because that is the only information that he has. The devil only has your past. He has no idea what God has planned for you in your future. So the devil wants to remind you of the past. But Jesus has your future. So I want to encourage you, do not agree with the devil. And do not, do not fellowship with the devil who wants to talk to you about your future. And remember where you are coming from. Remember 2020, 2020 and the way you failed and the way you goofed and the way you made wrong financial decisions. Listen, do not reinforce his, 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 his fellowship by agreeing with him. He has no idea what God has for you in 2021. Jesus has your future in his hands in 2021. And I want to declare to you that it shall be well with you in 2021. Focus on the future. You see, there is nothing you can do about 2020. Because 2020 is gone. Actually, 2020 is dead. It is static. static. It is dead. You cannot redo 2020. So why focus on 2020? When you have the whole of 2021 ahead of you. Focus on 2021. Amen? You see, Ecclesiastes 9-11, I love it. This is what the Bible says. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise nor yet riches to men of understanding. Nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happens to them all. Listen. 
It is not about how strong you are. It is not about how swift you are. It is not about how knowledgeable you are. But God, in the year 2021, he will give you opportunities. He will give you a new chance. And my encouragement to us is this. Seize the opportunities that God gives you every day of the year 2021 to do the will of God and to perpetuate his values in Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen? Nobody is disadvantaged. You are not disadvantaged for anything because God gives opportunities and chances to all of us. See those opportunities. Seize them in the year 2021 and be able to do the will of God in Jesus' mighty holy name. So forget the past. Forget 2020. Forget the pains of 2020 and focus on the newness of 2021. And together, you move together with God to be able to do great and mighty things and to build his kingdom and to bring glory and honor to his name in Jesus' name. Attitude number two that I want to encourage you to adapt even as you start 2021. Free your mind from worry. Free your mind from worry. Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Hallelujah. Do not be anxious about anything. Do not worry. Do not be anxious about 2021. Do not think what will happen of me now that we are in 2021, now that I made long decision in 2020. Do not be anxious about 2020. The Bible says instead of us being anxious, what we should do is that we should make our prayers and our petitions be known to God with thanksgiving. We let God know what are our needs. I want to encourage you this year, 2021, make a commitment to turn to prayer in every situation in, as you begin the year 2021. Make a decision, make a commitment that I will pray. Instead of being anxious, I shall pray. Instead of worrying, I shall pray. There's a song I think which says, why worry when you can pray? And somebody put it in a, uh, in a humorous way and said, why pray when you can worry? So the choice is yours, my friend. But I choose not to worry, I choose to pray. So I want to encourage you, year 2021, choose not to worry, but choose to pray. In all situations and circumstances, choose to pray instead of worrying. First Peter 5, 7 says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Cast all your anxieties to him because he cares for you. You see, our God cares more than we care. Even you think that you care a lot about yourself. Even if I think that I'm very careful about myself, I do not have the capacity to take care of myself. But God is not limited because he's infinite. Therefore, let us cast our anxieties to him because he cares for us. Amen? Matthew 5, Matthew 6, uh, this should be 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Do not worry about tomorrow, because there is very little that you can do about tomorrow. What you should do is to commit your issues and to commit your, your, yourself in totality to God, because God cares for you. God cares for your family. God cares cares for your children. God cares for your spouse. God cares about your welfare. So commit everything to God. Instead of worrying, you go ahead and pray and the Lord will take care of you. Point number three, attitude number three. We are talking about your best year ever. And we have talked about forgetting the past. We are talking about freeing your mind from worry. And point number three, free your mind from hate. Free your mind from hate. Chuki. You know, this is something that I believe you have heard before, but this is a lesson that each one of us need to learn that I need to know that hatred is like acid. Hatred is like acid. It destroys the vessel that holds it. Hatred is like acid. It destroys the vessel that holds it. You cannot afford, as a child of God, to hold in you any hate 
or any element of hate. Hawezi ukadhubutu kama mukristo kuwa na chuki au aina yoyote ile ya chuki katika moyo wako. You cannot afford. You cannot afford. You see, the Bible says about a Pharisee who was an expert in the law who wanted to test Jesus. If you read this in Matthew chapter number 22, verse 36 to 40. And this is what the Pharisee does to Jesus. He goes to Jesus and asks Jesus, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, this is the first and the greatest commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Of these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. You see, Jesus has loved us with an everlasting love. And he has loved us not because we deserve the love of God, but he made a decision to love us. In the same manner, we as those who are recipients of the love of God, we should be able to love people unconditionally and without expectations. We love people with the love of God. We usually say, this love to learn to love people by faith. Love people the way they are. Love people without expectations. Love people without discrimination. Accept people as they are because people belong to God. I want to encourage you this year, 2021, make a decision today to love people and to appreciate people because people are created in the image of God. You may not like them because maybe you don't like the way they look. Maybe you don't like the way they walk. Maybe you don't like the way they talk. Maybe you don't like their height. Maybe you don't like the way they dress. But besides that, love people and love all people unconditionally because people belong to God. And as you love people this year, 2021, you realize that as you love people, as you make a commitment to love people, then you are going to be a beneficiary because when you love people, then you are expressing the image of God and you'll be able to reach other people even to the kingdom of God. Romans 13, chapter number 13, verse 8 to 10. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as yourself. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly com comprehended in this saying. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is a fulfilling of the law. This is my encouragement to you, friends, as you start here 2021. Make a resolve to love all people unconditionally. Apostle Peter said it like this and put it like this, and I like it the way Apostle Peter put it in Acts chapter number 10, verse 34. Of truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. Of truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. Acts chapter number 10, verse 34. Mungu hana ubaguzi wala mapendeleo. Na kwa hivyo na kuhimiza tunapo anza mwaka huu wa elfu mbili na ishirina moja. Uwe mtu ambaye meafanya wamuzi wa kupenda watu vile walivyo. Kwa kubali watu vile walivyo. Kwa sababu watu mungu amewaumba kwa kusudi yake na mungu anawapenda. Na Biblia inasema katika wa Efeso tano asura, asura ya tano mstali wa kwanza. Ya kwamba we be imitators of God. Ya kwamba sisi kama wana Mungu tumuige Mungu na njia moja ya kumuiga Mungu ni kukubali watu na kuwapenda watu ambao Mungu amewaumba katika asili yake mwenyewe mwaka wa elfu mbili na ishirini na moja kama tutakuwa na mwaka ambao ni wafanaka mwaka wa furaha mwaka wa kufaulu mwaka wa kupenya basi inabidi tuweze kuwapenda watu kama vile Mungu amewapenda bila ubaguzi wowote now, number, number, point number that I think was number three, point number four, I believe it should be number four. Be thankful. 
We are talking about attitudes that we should adapt in year 2021 to ensure that you are going to have the best year ever. So number four, be thankful. Be thankful. Psalms 100 and verse 4. Psalms 100 and verse 4. The Bible says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. As we start this new year, this verse reminds us of the importance of giving thanks to God and of praising Christ. We can make a decision to start the new year with joy in our hearts and excited anticipation on what is about to come. It all starts with praising him for all we have. I sing a song and say, count your blessings and name them by one by one. But I'll say instead of counting them and naming them one by one, I believe the blessings are just too many. We can't afford to count them one by one. I think what we need to do is that we should weigh them tons by tons. Oh, hallelujah. Because the blessings are just too many that we cannot just name them one by one. We should weigh them tons by tons. And the more we consider the blessings we have, the more grateful we are going to be even to our God. Because there is nothing that we have which we deserve, but we have received it by the grace of God. For the Bible says that all good and perfect gift come from above, from the Father of lights. With him there is no shadow of turning. With him there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. God has blessed us with so much that we have a reason to be thankful every day. We have a reason to be thankful. And when you rise up in the morning, thank God for the gift of life. Thank God for the health. Thank God for the air. Thank God for the bread. Thank God for anything and everything. We ought to be thankful this year 2021. Instead of focusing on what we do not have, let us focus on what we have. Because when you focus on what we have, we have enough reason to be thankful and to thank our God. I want to challenge you this year 2021. I know you have made resolutions. I know you are believing God for financial breakthroughs. I know you are believing God for great things. But as you do so, be thankful because of the things that the Lord has done for you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18, the Bible says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I want to challenge you, my friend. Make a choice this day. Make a choice this morning. Every day of this year. The psalmist declared in Psalms 118, verse number 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we purpose to rejoice and to be glad in it. This is, our, this is what we choose to be this year. That we purpose to rejoice. We purpose to be glad for every day of the year 2021. And I can assure you, you are going to have a great year in Jesus' mighty holy name. Point number five, I believe, and this will be the last point that I want to touch on. As we start this year, 2021, give more and expect less. Give more and expect less. You see, this world has only two kinds of people. This world has only two kinds of people. And these two kinds of peoples are the givers and the takers. The givers and the takers. I want to tell you this. The takers may eat well, but the givers sleep well. The takers may eat well, but the givers will always sleep well. I want you to make a decision here 2021 to be a giver, not a taker. I would rather sleep well any time. I would rather sleep well any time. But the only way that you can sleep well, you can be assured of good sleep, is when you are a giver. Not a taker. A giver. You see, the challenge we have as uh, people is that we are used to receiving. We are used to receiving. You know, you grow up being given. You grow up being given gifts by your parents. Being, being given. So you, you, we get, it's as if we get to a point whereby we, we develop as a, like, a, like it is our right to receive. So all the time we want to receive, all the time we want to receive. Or oh, until you, you think that you have a gift of receiving. Because that is not a gift. There is nothing like a gift of receiving. Choose this year 2021 to be a giver. 
Give of your resources. Give of your time. Give of your money. Give of your talents. Give of your gifts. Give of yourself, everything to people, to the kingdom, to the work of God, to other people. Be available when people, when the neighborhood they're having meetings, be there for those meetings. When people are going for through, be there, be available for, give of yourself. Choose to be a giver in the year 2021. Be a giver, not a taker. You see, the Bible says, Acts 20, 35, giving is better than receiving. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts 20, 35. Proverbs 11, 25. Life is enriched by giving. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. And also there is no joy in selfishness. All of you are aware of King Ahab. King Ahab wanted to get a, an extra plot of land. And therefore he asked for it from Naboth. And Naboth could not give it up because it was an inheritance. But the wife of Ahab was Jezebel. And told, Jezebel, told Ahab, I'll get this thing for you. And sure enough, she went ahead and got the land for the husband Ahab. But you realize even after getting the land, the man was not happy. Because things will not make you happy. An extra car doesn't make you happy. Neither an extra house does not make you happy. Choose to be a giver this year. This is my challenge to you. Choose to be a giver this year 2021 so that you can be able to enjoy the year and have a successful year. I want to wish you a happy new year and a successful year even as you do the will of God every day of your life as you adapt these attitudes that you have talked about today and you're going to have the best year ever in Jesus' mighty holy name. May the Lord God bless you. I want to pray even as we close this service this day in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for the new year 2021. You have told us to forget the former things and we, be, and we, 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 we focus on what you are doing. For you are doing a new thing. Lord, I pray that you open our eyes, that we hold the new thing that you are doing in our lives, in our ministry, in our country, that we shall walk with you. We shall be where you, also, you want us to be. We shall be where you have directed us. We shall not move ahead of you. We shall not be behind. We shall move at the speed of the Holy Spirit so that you can be able to accomplish your will. And this year, 2021, we prophesy it's going to be a great year, a successful year, even as we choose to focus on your plan and to walk in your will. Receive glory, honor, and praise, for we do pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord, may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May, his, his, may he raise his countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen.